Hey right guys, Drift Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 10 of How to Get Away with Murder Season 6. We have caught up after this episode, I think episode 11 airs in about two days, two or three days. So we've caught up finally for those final five episodes, and the last episode was insane. The mid-season finale was genuinely maybe one of the, like, the biggest surprises How to Get Away with Murder's done uh, so far. And I've obviously read the comments in that in that reaction because... Uh, I think when I reacted to it, episode 10 had just come out, so no one really spoiled that. Um, but they were kind of theorising that they just brought back the actor and not the character. So Wes isn't alive, but I hate when shows do that. I don't think that'll be good. Like, it's either like Wes is alive or don't do it. <laughs> it's like, I don't like when they kind of use actors to play different characters. Unless it's a show like, of course, American Horror Story, where every season is different. Um, and not related to the other seasons, in, or apart from the odd kind of thing here and there, obviously. Uh, I don't mind so much then, but when it's like a show like this, bringing back an actor to play a different character, it, nah, <laughs> it doesn't really work for me. That might not be the case, obviously. Uh, it might genuinely be that Wes is just alive, even though we saw his autopsy in season three, we saw his burnt, crispy body. There's like really no way he could be alive, so I'm genuinely curious uh, what they're going to do. With, with that i don't know how it works but i'm excited to find out and then obviously asha being dead we don't know who killed him but asha was murdered at the end uh which yeah we'll see why i'm guessing the reason was because he went to the fbi it could be as very simple as that but with how to go with murder you never really know it could be something else so yeah how to go with murder season six episode 10 guys if you enjoy remember to leave a like and if you're new remember to subscribe and all social media stuff will be linked down below if you want to check any of that out but for now let's do this so is Annalise just kind of run off, like she's dipped out, that's it. Hey, this is kind of like the season one episode where she's like taking a wig off and, and makeup and stuff. The videos were hacked, of course they were. They didn't seem that like, shook that like Ash is dead. I, I don't know, I guess it's like a lot. Ash is dead and you're going to prison for it, even though you didn't do it. Or did they? Oh, I didn't do the... Do little, 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 so that means shit's getting serious. She's going to see on the news that they've all been arrested and then she's going to go back. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that was the picture you saw. Is your job no, right now to I, get angry because you love your husband? I know. Yeah, but you screwed. Okay, well, shouting and screaming your head off won't actually do anything, so. We'll take the risk. Right, great. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, come on. Oh, this is where it's like, I did the murder, we. Oliver, I can't believe he actually does this, stupid twat. Actual <laughs> moron! Oliver is the stupidest character there is! I'll be there in 20. What a twat. Why? Just make more hassle for everyone. Your neighbour, a member of Annalise's inner circle, turns up... Yeah, it doesn't really relate that much to me, but okay. It was the shrooms, they made everyone paranoid when Laurel called, they, they all just, they turned on me. You know, shrooms do not make- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. She obviously is, or- I can just go home. Sit down, so we can figure out what to do. Yeah, what if Bonnie did it? Oh. Ashley, do you just record everything? Oh, Frank? Nah, Frank- I'm gonna leave. Like, send that reaction, I feel like Frank and Bonnie, like, they've murdered people before, it wouldn't be a surprise. He's gonna think Frank's gonna kill him. Nah, it's too obvious. I don't feel like Frank would do that either, and Bonnie wouldn't let him. I will scream to this whole station. I mean, he's done that already, and no one did anything, so... Someone put that there to frame us. Xavier's people. Uh, is that again too obvious? I'm so sorry, Michaela. I don't know. And Oliver's here now being interviewed because he's just... Oh, thank God! What do you mean? How's Connor? It might have been a slow bleed. He me. could have fainted and fallen down the stairs. I saw him right. after your house last night, Oliver. The only reason he came over was to record me saying something incriminating. Oh. Uh, oh, she knows that then. <laughs> Frank's driving face is the best. We're all pretty good lives at this point, no? <laughs> he knows me. Framing Nate for Sam. He's recording. He's recording. He knows he's recording. He's recording you, Frank. Frank is dumb. They're trying to make you think Frank did it. There's no way. Good luck proving that. <laughs> you don't want him to do with any of that now. 
Yes, Your Honor. In addition to Ms. Pratt and Mr. Walsh, we're charging Oliver Hampton with first <laughs> We ask that the court deny bail for all three defendants due to the Oliver's. extremely violent nature of the killing. Oh, and my God. Send Oliver away and let Pratt and Connor go. The murder weapon and Arguments for bail, or can I give my ruling? Give your ruling. Send Oliver to prison. I'm denying bail to defendants Walsh and Pratt, who shall in custody pending trial. What? So Oliver running to be like, I've done it. Wait, what? No, no they're all murder murder. Okay, oh, oh that's your sister. That ruling was the wrong way around, but whatever. Oh, yeah, the little slot that, um, was it under here? Yeah. That Wes used to use. Come on. Oh, does he know that he knows? Not getting away with it, are we? I don't know how we got here. Like he was about to cry, but then stopped was. instantly. <laughs> An ashram Frank Hulk, and this is where he hits him in the back of the head. Don't go to sleep. It's bad for concussions. Was he still trying to record him? Is that what that was? Yup! <laughs> Frank ain't dumb, you idiot. Oh my god. That's why I did his little fake cry then. Made more sense. Like we have a choice. Pam. Pam, shut the fuck up! Sue you in this whole state for wrongful oh prosecution. Oh god, she's as annoying. Is so upsetting. Victim intimidation of Simon Dre. Assault oh by the god. Intoxication of Catherine Hapstall. Oh god, yeah. Against District Attorney Todd Denver. The yep. Of ADA Emily Sinclair. Yup. 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 Stemming from the first murder and dismemberment. Lyle. Oh, not Lyle. So, yeah, that's been a lot of stuff. <laughs> a life sentence. And throw at least under the bus. I mean, she's on the run, so even if they blame her, they can't find her. The only thing I ever did for you was be your friend. Ha! <laughs> Damn it! Well wrecked. Yeah, that was dumb. So you had all your evidence on there and you just destroyed it. Asher is not the smartest guy, is he? I mean, we've known that since episode one, but... What's right? Well, thank God, Nate. You? Yeah, in murdering an innocent man. He was innocent. He could have stopped the whole thing. Ah, uh, so he deserves to be beat to death. You want to actually move on from all of this? Well, yeah, I actually tried to save him in a way. You are. But okay. You take the deal. Yep, for Annalise under the bus. But she is to blame for most of it, right? Yeah. Not really. Actually, not really, because all the key five were just really stupid 90% of the time. For you right now. Like, they all, they've been really dumb. Like, Asher running over that character. Annalise. For all being dumb. I just want this to be over. What if this ends with them all going to prison? Boring. Not you. But where's killed what Sam? Can we keep that in mind? Annalise Keating. And she's just chilling out here. <laughs> She'll go back. She'll go back for sure. The rest of the show can't be her in hiding. That'd be so dead. Oh, was this Did Asha go to his house? Yep. I called that. I said Asher went to his house. I need your phone. For what? It's an emergency. Give me your phone. No. Wait. I'll pay you sixty-four thousand dollars for it. What? What? Asher, you could have been like I'll pay you a hundred dollars for it. He probably would have done it. Oh yeah, she took it. Don't blame the guy. If someone said I'll give you sixty-four k for your phone. Smart decision. But I have a stipulation. Otherwise, we go to trial. Oh, what's this? Um, zero jail time. They're the only two left, really. Connor and Michaela. Ash is dead. Wes is dead. Or, the terms of apparently. The are only valid Laurel's dipped out. Connor and myself. Oh, okay, okay. Protect us equally. Oh, I love it. I'm only signing if you agree. Oh, with did they do the same thing? That's choose. adorable. Brilliant minds. Ha! <laughs> they got each other's back till the end. That was kind of wholesome. No way I'm that stupid. Wasn't Frank. Too obvious. Oh, uh, that's some shady ass shit. What? What? Does she not trust the situation? Or does she have a second thoughts? Annalise Kidding? Oh! She's been caught! <laughs> what? She's been caught already! They found her. She was on the run for an app. <laughs> she wanted to get caught though, because she would have gone in the car otherwise. I'm kind of glad about that. I felt like her being on the run, like we have five episodes left. We want Annalise in it with the rest of the cast. Like that's what you want because she's been 
there from the start, like, you know, doing a thing. You don't want, like, let's say they did three eps of her on the run. You don't want that. Who wants that? And then it ultimately ends in the same place of her getting caught, say. Like, just have her be caught here. So, I'm, even though she got caught quickly, um, I am glad about it at the same time, because her being on the run was not something that interested me. But at the same time, it's kind of a little bit annoying, because you look back at the first half of this season, and a lot of that was building up and on about kind of Annalise being on the run, by like disappearing, right? There was a lot of conversation about that and a lot of teasing and a lot of flash forwards about Annalise being on the run. And then we have like three scenes of her like just chilling out, <laughs> then following a the person and then getting caught instantly. So it's just kind of a bit underwhelming in that sense. Uh, it might have more of a part to play in future episodes, of course, but here it just kind of really was like eh, okay cool so Annalisa's story wasn't the best this episode what really worked for this was Connor and Michaela they're kind of uh, back and forth in court like whether to take the deal and then having each other's back at the end which is kind of wholesome uh, I enjoyed that that was really strong Oliver not so much I don't know why but Oliver's just annoying me a lot at the moment uh, like confessing to a murder that he probably thought he committed because he hit Asher like sure but it was just like why you were off the hook and then he like he could have gone really bad and he could have got arrested and then it would have just been more hassle and luckily they let him go pretty quickly so now Annalise is going to go there and have to fight for herself which is going to be I don't know how she's getting out of this one but it'll be it'll be interesting to find out nothing about Wes this episode I, I kind of hope we don't have to wait until like the finale to kind of see a little bit about what that is about because uh, that would be kind of a bit underwhelming, because they teased it, and then it's like, you know, I know you're going to have to wait another six episodes to actually see what it's about, so we'll wait and see. Uh, obviously, we had a lot of flash-forwards between Asher and Frank, or flash-forwards, flashbacks between Asher and Frank. I enjoyed those. Like, we still don't know who killed Asher. I think Frank's way too obvious. I think Bon is a little too obvious, because they've both done that before, and they've, they've ended a tease of, oh, this is a person who killed this person. They've done that with Frank and Bonnie already. As I said, Frank with Lila and Bonnie with Rebecca. So doing one of those two again, I don't know if that would... It'd still be cool. It'd still be like, okay, cool. It's done. But it wouldn't be as much of a shock if they chose someone like, say it was actually Oliver or Michaela or Connor. Say it was one of those three. Uh, that would be more of a shock than if it was Bonnie or Frank. Like, oh, come on, that's obvious. So yeah, I, I enjoyed those. I, I still don't really have a clue, but we'll wait and see. So overall... A good, a good mid-season premiere, uh, I'd probably go a... I'll go 7.8 out of 10. I'm going to go just below an 8 for this one. Uh, the Annalise stuff didn't interest me too much, but I loved the Connor and Michaela stuff, like I said. Uh, the flashbacks were good. They didn't show too much. It was mainly just showing scenes between Frank and uh, Asher. I think it was trying to lead you to believe that Frank maybe did it, but like I said, I think that's too obvious. Uh, so they, they were good scenes. They weren't amazing. Uh, and that was basically, yeah, like some bits with Nate and uh, Oliver and stuff. But yeah, I'll go 7.8 out of 10. Hopefully, like I said, we're in the final five episodes now. Just smash out some banger of episodes. It'll be it'll be appreciated. <laughs> we kind of need it. Uh, like the last episode, not this one, but the last one, was so good. Like you want to keep that momentum up for the final episodes now. I get this one was kind of a little bit like, okay, let's warm up for those final five episodes. That's That's fine. I didn't mind so much this one just being a kind of good episode, but final five now, let's go in. Let's go hard. Uh, fingers crossed for that. So 7.8 for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know for the episode down below in the comments. And we're caught up now, so I'll see you in two days for episode 11. Until then, peace.